I'm really, really pleased to be here on behalf of uh, the Victorian Government and Minister for Equality, Martin Foley, who couldn't come, so I'm pretty pleased he couldn't come because I could. Um, and I uh, really appreciate him asking me. I want to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land upon which we meet, the Kulin Nations. I want to acknowledge our very own Ro Allen, the uh, Commissioner for Gender and Equality. Our Ro, the Water Polo Community, Beyond Blue, Victorian AIDS Council and athletes. So this is the first ever, is my understanding, National Water Polo League Pride Cup. And I think it's bloody fantastic. In the Victorian Government, it's a, it's a game changer for us. And in the Victorian Government, we are committed to being a game changer for equality. You, uh, we had the first ever Premier, uh, Daniel Andrews was the first Premier to march in Pride March last year, and again last weekend. Um, he was the first ever, um, uh, we have the first ever Minister for Equality in the Victorian Government, the first ever row position, the Gender and Equality Commissioner. We, uh, we passed legislation in the Victorian Parliament to allow same-sex couples to adopt, which should have been done years ago. We, uh, we passed uh, legislation to erase historical convictions of, of uh, uh, criminal convictions of gay men whose only crime was to, to be gay and many, many other initiatives. But sports is really powerful. Sport is very powerful in changing people's perceptions and building a bridge. And that's why what water polo is doing today is, is a game changer. In its, in its most high profile uh, matches, it has made space for the uh, grunge, grudge match between Sydney uh, Stingers and Melbourne Surge. And I think from this today, other sporting codes should learn a big lesson and uh, they should get on a move on in terms of uh, the pride and equality agenda. I really commend, I really commend uh, Water Polo uh, National League. I commend the Vic Seals and the, uh, the very energetic and passionate President Steve Blunt, Midsummer, Victorian Arts Council, Beyond Blue, and Rowena Allen for helping get this, uh, this amazing event off the ground and into the pool. Sport knows no boundaries. Sport knows no exclusions and no discriminations. And from a, such a high profile event today, there should be no discrimination and no exclusions in sport. Again, there definitely won't be in water polo. I, I am a bit conflicted because I'm a Melbourne boy, but I've got a good friend who uh, plays for the Sydney uh, Stingers. But uh, good luck to both teams, and I know who I'll be barracking for, and it's Melbourne. Well done, thanks very much.